Hey guys, and thanks for watching. Today we're going to take a look at the new Lenovo E15 laptop. I looked around for some videos or pictures to see what was inside and couldn't find anything, so I thought I'd post it. Let's take a look. So we've got the Lenovo uh, flipped over. I've already taken all of the screws out of it, and then the bottom does pop off using your standard clips. Uh, you do want to pry out uh, from the bottom because of the way the clips attach. So then we're going to open it up, and you can see inside. So a couple things that are a little different about this one, only one RAM slot, which is surprising. This is an eight gig model, uh, but only has one RAM slot and there's none under the uh, keyboard or anything because the keyboard is actually not removable and we'll get to that in a moment. Now this model did come with a spinning drive. You can see it runs off a cable, but it does have the spot for the NVMe drive, which is a far superior connection, way faster, and it does actually come with the screw. So we're actually going to pop this out and then we're going to put in the NVMe drive and then we can fire it up and take a look. So let's do that now. All right, now we've got the NVMe drive connected. We've got the hard drive disconnected. So let's open it up and turn it on and take a look. So we're just going to press the power button here and watch it boot up. And as you can see, that NVMe drive is running and the hard drive is disconnected. So you can see the Lenovo screen. You can see it's booting. So unlike a previous model, you're able to unhook that ribbon cable and not cause any uh, errors on boot or anything like that. And then, uh, as you can see, it's booting very quickly since it's running that new NVMe. Um, another feature of this one, just like the previous models, you can hide the webcam just by doing a little simple slider there. When it's red, uh, it's hard to catch on camera. When it's red, it's not working. And then when it's open, it is. Uh, but as you can see, booted no problem, no errors with an NVMe drive, even though it came with a spinning SATA drive. So you can either disconnect and take this out, make it lighter. You could upgrade it to you know, an SSD uh, for SATA to give you more storage capacity or whatever you'd like. The biggest differences with this laptop versus the other ones I feel like is going to be that single RAM slot and then the fact that the keyboard isn't removable. So let's take a look at that. So you can see the keyboard is actually integrated into the top here. It is not removable at all, unlike most Lenovo's. It does still have the touch point with dedicated buttons, standard trackpad, and it's up and running. So. The only other thing I wanted to show on this laptop that concerns me a little bit is the way that they assembled it. And let's take a look at that. So from the bottom, you can see this is open and it moves a lot. It's bolted to the hinge here, but when you go to press the body down, it just pulls it away. So you really want to put a finger on it and help help it when you're closing it. Now the reason this kind of worries me is there's a body screw that goes here from the bottom. Uh, you know, when you put the bottom on, there's a screw right here that lines up with this hole. But they threaded and put a hole here and then didn't actually put a screw in it, which I find kind of odd. There's several other areas like here and here that have threaded holes but don't have screws in them. And then there's just a whole host of other holes that have no threads at all. So don't really know what the idea was there, but Obviously, they have a reason for it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you know anything about this laptop that I don't, feel free to put that in the comments as well. I'm sure it'll take more than the 8 gigs of RAM that it comes with, but seeing as how you'd have to take that stick out, that's a little limiting considering all the uh, older laptops had two slots or even four if they're the uh, mobile workstation versions. Thank you so much.